okay so in python the very first thing uh, here in the notebook what we uh, need to understand is to create headings okay to create markdowns And this headings and uh, markdowns can be created using, you can go with the code and you can go with the markdown, raw, anything, right? You can, if you are going with markdown. So it's right, and double underscores give bold letters. Okay, you, you, this are the things you should remember. Okay, create headings and markdowns, right? right? Creating headings and markdowns. Shift plus enter is going to run the things. Okay, now headings and all, what I said, escape and R. Escape and R is going to make you a raw console where you can just write the code but it will not execute. Okay, so like, uh, we can write it like this. For, I'm giving you some sh uh, shortcuts, right? Escape, what we will be using. For bold, you don't need to write escape, you can use double underscores. Starting with double underscores and ending with double underscores, okay? For uh, italic, you can use, if you are making something italic, you can use just one single underscore, okay? For comments, I guess you know how it goes. You can use the number of uh, hashtags like you want according to like heading one, heading two, heading three. Uh, like heading purpose is different, comments are different. Okay. So H scale, I say heading scale. Okay. That ranges from H1 to H6 according to the number of hashtags you use okay so these are the things you can see this will not run this will only show you okay now we'll start up with our stuffs okay now the very first thing i'll write here is the keywords in python remembering all this stuff and then we'll start up python keywords how many keywords are there in the python guys if you remember any can you tell me the number? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sorry. All right. No problems. So we can write help of keywords. Uh, everyone can see the screen or uh, should I zoom it? Yes, guys. Should I make a zoom or you can see it? Yes, sir. Now it's comfortable. Okay. So Python keywords, what we see is help of keywords here are the list of the Python keywords, what all are there. So what is the number here, if we need to see? What we see are the nine rows over four columns. And here in the last one, there is nothing, right? So nine into four, you can say 36 minus 135, right? So we can print it the length of the list of keywords all the keywords in the python okay now for getting that you need to uh, enter one more thing that is you need to import the keyword okay you will import keyword and you will write keyword dot kw list 
So you need to print the length of a list of uh, keywords or you can go if, if you are going with a keyword list we don't require this list writing list we can just go with the length of keywords list okay and we'll get 35 okay so what is this keywords list so these are nothing but all the list what we get here similarly to this this is something and what it is written there that here is a list of a python keywords enter any keyword to get more help like you want to see something about class false not true if you want to go through that you can just write help of like none it is so you go it's none so help of none will be giving you results okay like that now so the next thing comes here is python modules how many modules are there hey so for that what i uh, said yesterday did we do this have we done this uh, python modules finding python modules what what was the code can just write help of modules I'm not running it now I'm just writing the Python modules code is you can just get help of the modules to find the Python modules yeah okay so if i run this you'll get this one see it will take a lot of long answers and whenever you get this star mark asterisk sign in it stands for uh, processing. And you can see like it's coming. Okay. So each parameters, modules. Okay, these are the modules now in Python. So from here to what you can do is uh, let me see. Make, okay, can we make this separate? Let's see. To make a count, can we make it? Let's have a look on there. So I'm getting a selectors. Yeah. Or if I write by mod in a string, if I write all these. No. I can use a doc string. This can be written in the five modules. Now, can we use to find this uh, using uh, spaces? Can you, anyone tell how we can separate this? Like uh, for a count, can we count this? Yes. These first underscores are uh, not considered as any of the, you know, these, we are not going to consider this 
uh, all these underscores as the modules because they are something as a different functions over there. Okay. Just a So can we get a separatable uh, stuff here? We need to separate the thing. Yeah, we can remove this all. One, two, like this. Let's see. Uh, these are not very much long, so go about it. Eh? Then we'll use. Oh, sorry. I think some more stuffs are going up okay so uh, what we can do is we can remove the elements starting with underscores can we do this anyone uh, you guys have done uh, python basics previously right sabne kiya hua na python thoda pehle everyone uh, has done a bit of python yes guys tushar rohit nishikant amninder We yeah, right. Okay. So that is what I am saying. In me say underscores hata dete. Okay. If we consider only with the B's, so underscore ko consider nahi karna. Baaki sab ko count karna hai. Kaise count karein? So, ek baar ke liye we consider it like. What is this phi mod, right? So if we are considering phi mod dot split using space, single space, split the terms. And crypto spaces, brain HTTP spaces, and all these things, spaces. So are we getting any results? And dot 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 dot. So the results are coming. Okay. All right. Let's see if we could consider it. So pi split sp is equals to this, and I'm splitting the terms because this is a string. So I'm splitting it using one particular space. So I will import for uh, numpy now. And we'll look on how the different libraries help in performing a single single task. Okay. Now P Y A R. We'll create an array of this. Okay. Now that is a list. Okay, and we'll create an array. For that, I will apply a loop. I will make sure that P Y L S is a blank list, and I will apply a loop here because we don't need any uh, spaces. Like these are not our elements, so I can use for I in P Y S P if I is equal equals to a space this then continue and not if then what we can do is p y l s dot f n the i very simple okay and P Y array. So Python array would be then the list of the modules array. Okay, oh. would be an S P of P Y L S. And let's run this. Let's see. So what is the length of P Y A R R? 
471. So if you could just have a print of this first. Print P Y A R R. So now we can see the individual elements, guys. Can you see this? Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Now we can see the individual elements and any underscores random pickle share cryptography notebook and all some things I see there has been reshuffled maybe so are the things completely correct let me see brain name tuple resource future brain underscore numpy of uh, these underscores has been removed Are these so close into one? Okay, let's sort this. Hmm. Okay. All right. Think something has been merged up, maybe, or some stuff has been deleted. Not exactly the results we have got. Up to some extent, it is fine. But I think that some stuff has been deleted. Let me see. B J P is fine. S what about S? S Y. Simply. Okay, so this is the problem. They have been merged up with simply underscore this, underscore this, underscore this. Okay, okay, okay. So what exactly the thing has been done? Like one particular term has been merged up with the next one. Right, like it is, this is a separate one, simply. Now, if we go to separate the underscores, we'll lose this too. Okay, but anyhow, we have managed to uh, find the length that is more important. Okay, and that we got it 471. Okay, and even there are some mergings what we see. So, we can uh, separate the stuffs from uh, I think slash in where it is. Where the slashes are there? Slash in. Okay, okay, all right. That slash in is for the new line, and these underscores are there. All right, fine. 471 uh, cross 2, you can take it. So, this is the ultimate result of the complete because some has been merged up, right? 942. 942 results are there okay this is the modules okay now in python we have variables and numbers so in python what kind of numbers we have we have an integer what we consider it as all the yeah, what we do? Integer. Positive and negative numbers. 
हाउ डू यू हाउ डू यू डिफाइन एन इंटीजर कैसे डिफाइन करेंगे इंटीजर को क्या होता है इंटीजर पाइथन में थ्री नंबर्स होते हैं ना यू हैव थ्री कैटेगरी ऑफ नंबर्स देर इन पाइथन वन इज योर इंटीजर वन इज योर फ्लोट एंड वन इज योर कॉम्प्लेक्स है ना एक आपका फ्लोट हो गया एक इंटीजर एंड द नेक्स्ट वन इज योर कॉम्प्लेक्स तो इंटीजर हम कैसे लिखते हैं ट्वेंटी थ्री फोर्टी फाइव ट्वेल्व समथिंग लाइक दिस ऐसे लिखते हैं ना वी यूज टू राइट लाइक दिस Yes, yes, yes. And in float we have four point two, uh, three point something like. We used to write like this. Right. Negative three point one. Zero point three. Is there us? In complex, what we have? combination of real and imaginary numbers so 2 plus 3j they are always in the form of a plus bj always in the form of this now a plus bj are here in the format of alphabets right they, they are not numbers so you need to define them like this okay but you can write 0j just 0j 5j or 2 plus 2 minus and nothing like you can take it simply minus 45j positive negative whatever you take okay now if we go for applying a loop guys and for i in integer if i take it like print in the type of i type of j type of k to many values to one pack new argument must be a string not a We get it once, or we have to make it separate. Yeah. So a type of integer, float, and complex. We see that it is a list. Okay. So can you see the results? right guys okay any any confusions for i in integer float and complex we printed the type of i so the type of i is list inside list every first one is integer then again there is a list with uh, inside that again every one is a float every other four numbers are float and then again there is a list where every other four other complex any problems no sir right so when we say an integer we just take all the positive and the negative whole numbers right actual numbers not whole numbers we can say actual numbers in the float we take consider with the whole numbers 
rational numbers everything comes there right in the float we consider everything right because there we have decimal points and integer we don't have it in complex we do say it as with real and uh, imaginary so if we want to see like in complex what are the real part and what are the imaginary part we can print the i the i dot real and the i dot imaginary and if this is a number 2 plus 3j 2.0 is your real and 3.0 is your imaginary if it is 5j then there is no real number only there is an imaginary number that is 5.0 and it's always a float okay if it is minus 0 minus 45j then minus 0.0, .0 is your real and minus 45.0 is your imaginary is that clear yes sir right so these are the numbers apart from this there we deal with one more number in python which is called as random numbers okay so today uh, like we'll go with we are going with all these uh, small stuff okay tomorrow like we'll be having a small test i'll give you a very small test tomorrow you'll have a test tomorrow of like what basic knowledge of python you are having then the day after tomorrow like we'll be proceeding with our own pace of what to make your learn first okay the python randomness you have to import random And when you import random, whenever you import any keyword, the very first thing what you need to understand is to uh, get the directory of the keyword. Directory in the sense like you should understand, uh, you should know the uh, functions behind the keyword. Okay. So first by printing the uh, directory of keyword, sorry, random. And you can use as uh, import random as rn. Can get this get even random or even rn so random is not defined now we can go with directory of rn so we have don't go with the underscores okay don't go with the underscores because if if you want to uh, see a documentation you can get it okay like if it is gauss so i can write rn dot gauss underscore underscore Let's say okay so what do you have got here if you write print and this uh, I'm just showing you that what is this okay so this is method to obtain official documentation of any function of any particular keyword or any module you can say okay so here what we are getting here we are obtaining this is a process right guys okay uh, like writing something rn that is your random dot gauss is a function then of what you are trying to find is doc okay so you are finding doc so documentation you are getting okay I'm just writing if you and see, okay? We run it. So Gaussian distribution. So mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation. This slightly faster is the normal variate function. Now again, there comes a normal variate function. So no thread safe. So you can get normal thread again. Rn dot normal 
variable dot documentation so mu is the mean and sigma is the standard deviation you can go with more details like finding the documentations even more you can go with like see what is the file function has no okay so this function is not having any uh, file okay loader and all stops i guess no more will be there yeah, obviously okay package let it be so let it be for the documentation okay so what do you see here is the stops are being starting from beta variate so from here you are having the functions till here you are having all the rest ways okay so functions of random Okay. So I guess they are there. So function of random in Python. These are the things. Okay. One by one, you can go in detail with all like for i in R n. If you see. Okay, you can get the documentation. You can light help of I. No documentations. So for what documentation you have, you'll get the things. For random it is. For each other, see all the documentation you can get. Okay. So what you have documentation, you'll get. And for dot, you don't have, you'll not get. Module random has no attribute of i, obviously. Uh, that i is oh, sorry, not l. You need to print for i in the RNF. You see, uh, yeah. Alright, so I guess things are clear here, right, till numbers I guess is clear, okay, so there is one more randomness here in Python that is your numpy, uh, this will be uh, done in more detail, but still, I will just show you here. These are the things and random number generation. Okay. So, bed generators, streams for generators, and all legacies, everything is in utility functions. Random, what is this used for? Uniformly distributed floats so over a range of 0 to 1. What are random dot bytes? Uniformly distributed random bytes. Okay, for choice, it's uh, select a random sample from one dimension array. This is all we are going to study in detail. Uh, documentations are there, nothing else. Okay, so these are the things. Uh, let me name this file. Save this as savings completed. Just a minute. 
rename it. So this is your file, right? So uh, you're from DS3 batch. DS3 one. Okay. Some seconds ago, I'll make a folder here. Just a minute. Let me stop your recording.